कातायनी का है रूप सजीला हर रंग से भी एक रंगीला नवरात्रि में षष्ठी के दिन हर दिल में रंग है आज पीला गुड इवनिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी माई नेम इज डॉक्टर सरिता नारायण नायक एंड टूडे वी हैव गॉट अनदर स्पेशलिस्ट फॉर यू ऑन सिक्स डे ऑफ नवरात्रि नाउ सिक्स डे ऑफ नवरात्रि द गॉडस विच इज सेलिब्रेटेड इज गॉडस कथाइनी कथाइनी इज सपोज टू बी अ गॉडस ऑफ हैप्पीनेस cheerfulness positivity and similarly are the specialist of today she is trying to spread positivity around in such a beautiful way not that that she is just a doctor or a surgeon but she does not leave any chance where she can heal a doctor patient relationship she spreads positivity in all the possible way so please welcome our guest of today dr aparna gobal bhaskar Welcome Dr. Aparna on our platform of W4W. We are so happy to have you here. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Sarita Narang. I'm really happy to be a part of this uh, wonderful program and I've been following the program from day 1 and I think you've done an amazing job. Really uh, kudos to you and uh, you've put this together. I think no one else could have done this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much it's my it's it's my pleasure to have you here it's like i feel like this platform is honored because you are we could get you because there's Thank so you. much i want to know from you apart from your life journey the work you do there's so much more to you you know which you the way you give it back to society so uh, like i always say uh, mera pehla sawal to sabse ye hota hai ki ye motivation of becoming a surgeon and that too among you know uh, so many other specialities were there in front of you as a medical graduate after mbbs uh, why you chose surgery i became a doctor to become a surgeon so surgery matlab mujhe surgeon hi banna tha mujhe doctor nahi banna tha so <laughs> that was my dream from the beginning i don't know why but i always knew that i will be good at operating and uh, I'm good with my hands, so ये मुझे शुरू से पता था तो surgery is an art and I'm good at art, so I knew that I will I want to do surgery. That's why MBBS was just a step towards surgery. So that was my motivation, and in my uh, I I still remember in my postgraduate uh, entrance uh, form where you have to give your choices. My three choices were surgery, surgery, and surgery. There was no other choice. Wow. So I have it in my mind. Yes, I'm sure the examiners must have sensed that desperation and that deep desire. कि ये लड़की को सर्जन ही बनना है. उन्होंने मुझे discourage करने की कोशिश जरूर करी थी. Okay. ये शायद आपको नहीं लेना चाहिए. आप कर पाओगे वगैरह. But I was like, नहीं सर, यही करना है. बस. So. So that is. So great. So yeah. So great to know that. Ah, जैसे वो कहते हैं सर्जन वो जो सर्जन करे. जो क्रिएट करें एंड यू हैव द हैंड्स ऑफ दोस यू नो क्रिएटेड क्रिएटर बिकॉज़ वी नो यू नो यू आर अ गुड आर्टिस्ट एट हार्ट एंड यू हैव दोस यू नो हीलिंग हैंड्स एज़ वेल बट दिस जर्नी डजंट कम इजी देयर आर मेनी टाइम्स यू नो वी एज सर्जन व्हेन वी आर यू नो स्ट्रगलिंग विद हेक्टिक नाइट शेड्यूल्स कॉल्स यू नो फैमिली सो देयर सो मच देयर सो मेनी टाइम्स एंड पॉइंट्स व्हेन वी एज सर्जंस एक्चुअली गो डाउन व्हाट केप्ट यू गोइंग ऑन and your journey did not stop just at ms surgery you have gone further higher up in bariatric surgery which i i'm not sure i don't know any other bariatric lady surgeon no there i am not aware of it there might be you being in the field for me you there were are. in like you know really a goddess like i can look up to this lady who went in such a male surgeon dominated field and picked up bariatric surgery out of everything so please tell me i want to know so uh, number one, I think uh, difficulties होती है जरूर होती है स्पेशली आप मेल डोमिनेटेड ब्रांच में जाते हो बट आई थिंक आई वॉज वेरी फॉर्चुनेट कि मेरे जो कलीग्स थे मेरे सीनियर्स थे मेरे प्रोफेसर्स थे दे वर बहुत सपोर्टिव थे तो ऑब्वियसली ऑल माई टीचर्स वर मेल राइट मोस्ट ऑफ दैम very few women to look up to but uh, most of them were males and I've been very fortunate to have very good teachers and um, but ek baat zarur hai ki i think as a as a girl in the department i had to work doubly hard to prove my mettle otherwise everyone would think that you're being favored just because you're a girl so uh, to show that things are not coming easy i would be working harder than everybody else and um, 
बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी में और भी लेडीज हैं मैं उनके लिए नहीं हूँ हमारा परसेंटेज शायद वन परसेंट भी नहीं है इन अमंगायर पॉपुलेशन ऑफ बेरियाट्रिक सर्जन बट बट यस आई थिंक टू बी गुड इन योर फील्ड यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस एंड थोड़ा सा ज्यादा काम करना पड़ता है बट यू हैव टू बी पैशनेट एंड यू हैव टू फॉलो योर ड्रीम तो बाकी की जो प्रॉब्लम होती हैं वो सब Uh, I think they uh, fall by the side. I think you have to take it in your stride. Right, right. Miss, you are true in saying so that you have to work. Uh, you know, in a male-dominated surgical speciality, work doubly hard because we all know all the peripheral work. You know, the written yes. work. Everything will keep coming to you. We, I have been there. Yes. I know what it means. Yes. So it is like uh, you are the last in the queue to enter in the you know surgeons. OT and attire. It happens at times. Yes. But I'm happy yes. that you you mentioned that you could get good mentors, good you know direction, yes. and they motivated yes. you. Koi yes. aisa incidents in your entire journey where which you can recall today talking to us, which really motivated you. It can be from your family, from your colleagues, or maybe you know any case which really made you feel that what I'm doing is is what I want. i think every patient that we heal uh, dr sarita is is an inspiration for the right everyone who comes and thanks you like yesterday it happened so um, the patient came and consulted and then she asked me ki aap kitne saal se kar rahe ho so i said abhi 15 saal ho gaye kitni surgeries kari hai so i said we not i'm not really kept account but it must be running into thousands so i thought that she wants to know my experience but then the next question next statement was ki तो आपको कितनी हजारों ब्लेसिंग्स मिली होंगी अभी तक सो आई थिंक दैट इज व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर राइट इट्स नॉट अबाउट एक्सपीरियंस गेन और एक्सपर्टीज गेन इट्स अबाउट ब्लेसिंग्स दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम ईच एंड एवरी पेशेंट ऑफ आर्स राइट सो एवरीवन हु गोज बैक सेटिस्फाइड हु इज हील्ड हु इज हैप्पी आई थिंक दैट इज मोटिवेशन इज अप सो आई थिंक उससे ज्यादा और कुछ चाहिए नहीं सो आई फील दैट आई डिराइव inspiration from each and every patient of mine right from the beginning wow fantastic i think you are the right example of you know a true healer it is not just about being doctors and we will you know discuss that part that how our profession you know is as is not receiving what we deserve and yes. it is like so nice to hear that we have you know there are people like you who still feel that emotion that you know there is a healer which is basically working behind this face it's not just about money or just the number of surgeries which we do Definitely. so fantastic and beautiful yeah and and i am like you know a very uh, i'm a great fan of you and your work honestly yeah. i keep following you on social media because i know whenever something comes from your side it it definitely is something you know serious it is something meaningful so i always keep following you you know ek book hai aapki which we yeah. are like so fond of means i i were i have read that book and i really felt that so much it was needed in this era in this generation to you know heal that doctor patient bond i i loved yes. every part of book please tell our audience about that book so um first of all thank you for reading the book and i think uh, ye the book is called as uh, dear people with love and care your doctors the whole idea behind putting this book together we are basically the editors uh, myself and dr devraj shom he is my co-editor and we invited about uh, 34 authors to contribute uh, chapters to the book and these are 34 stories about doctor patient relationships various kinds of stories uh, 30 of these are written by doctors and four of these are actually uh, written by patients so isme hamara jo basic jo motivation tha ye likhne ke liye so uh, you also understand and i also know that there is a lot going on between uh, a lot has gone down in the doctor patient relationship over the years bahut sare reasons hain iske liye aap bhi jante hain aur hum bhi jante hain ki hamare country mein healthcare ke upar focus bahut kam hai we don't have universal healthcare coverage you've been uh, i mean educated abroad and you know how what the kind of healthcare and the quality of healthcare that is available to people in singapore and us and everywhere right so मुझे हमेशा ऐसा लगता है कि जो हम यहाँ पे हमारी सर्कमस्टांसिस में कर रहे हैं वो दैट इज अमेजिंग और हमें उसके लिए अप्रिसिएशन छोड़ो वी गेट ब्रिक बैच फॉर दैट यू नो सो 
whatever we are doing in this broken system of healthcare, I think uh, we should be put on a pedestal for that. But uski jage kya hota hai ki jahan pe blame doctors are being blamed because doctors are the face of medicine. So yeah. root cause ye hai ki kisi ke economically people are not that stable. Unke paas paisa nahi hai. Health ke upar kisi ko dhyan itna nahi jata hai. And then log loot jate hai. Matlab koi bimar. Yes. Yes. Uh, Dr. Aparna, your screen has frozen. Dr. Aparna, are you there? Dr. Aparna, are you there? Okay, audience, I think we are live still. There are some two Dr. Aparna, Google side, I guess so. I uh, will wait for a while. In the meantime, maybe we can have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with each other. Uh, Dr. Aparna Govil Bhaskar is a, a bariatric surgeon. Yeah, so I was just talking to the, our audience. Let me just complete my sentence, Dr. Aparna. Yes. So yes. our audience, uh, ladies, gentlemen, whoever is watching, this is your chance right now to talk to Dr. Aparna Govil Bhaskar, who is a leading bariatric surgeon. All your concerns regarding obesity, obesity surgeries, this is the time you can put them in the chat box and I'll be able to put them across. Yes, Dr. Aparna, you were talking so, about... Why this relationship has gone so sore in our in our yes. So, uh, so the whole idea behind the book, one of the reasons is also lack of communication. So uh, doctors आपस में बात करते हैं हम हमारी जो बातें हैं वो हम patients तक नहीं पहुंचा पाते. So we hmm. thought that whatever we are feeling and what we experience, we should take a piece of our life to patients. And what better way of doing that rather? I mean than writing a book. So that is why we thought of writing this book and take these stories to normal people, make them read it and realize that, hum, uh, you know, what, what are the emotions and uh, what is the feeling behind a doctor-patient relationship? So uh, that was the whole reason why we put this book together. And I think uh, maybe, obviously, no change can come in one day, but it was just a little bit of an effort from our end, and uh, hopefully, I think kuch to farak pada hoga, <laughs> Definitely, the change is there because I read the book, I felt it, I could really feel uh, you know what goes inside a doctor when we yes. go back home after doing a surgery, yes. which may not turn out that successful as yes. expected, and when uh, you know uh, we are bashed at times because expectations yes. were not met. Maybe we are, uh, you know, put on that kind of, uh, you know, like you have depicted in one of your paintings, a crucified yes. doctor. And yes. the thing is, at times we, I, we feel we all are human beings, and we do feel sad inside. That you know, uh, somewhere we we are sad because Correct. our patient has suffered. So Correct. definitely, the emotions come across beautifully in that book, and I will suggest our audience to explore the book, which we are going to show you soon. So yes, uh, Dr. Aparna, I am getting the glimpses of your journey. Let us show our audience a little small video showing you know your journey, a sl small sneak peek into your life. Hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarita. How much effort you people have put in, especially you. I'm really amazed. Uh, it's, you yourself are so busy and you've taken so much time and effort. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. The pleasure is all ours. And mm -hmm. I feel so much about us. Us means not me, but us means the females, the women, you know, in medical field, medical practice, what we go through. The, the challenges yes. are not easy. We all know it inside, what it takes 
to be here and i felt that this is the time i need to celebrate it abhi nahi to kabhi nahi so that's it <laughs> i am loving every every bit of it doing every part of it and i'm happy that you could see it so it's yeah ladies and uh, gentlemen you are not watching only dr aparna govil bhaskar the laparoscopic bariatric surgeon you are watching an author you know you're watching a multifaceted personality an artist a painter you know a creative mind who has you know healing hands so you know there are so many uh, reflections and you know phases of your personality which come across aur usme se ek jo to definitely i can't leave to go is your paintings whenever i see your paintings you know it this speaks much more than actual words and and last of your few series i have seen the series of paintings which was covered in the covid times how the life changed covid changed life that was brilliant but after that what you just released you know that the paintings which were literally they really shook my heart that you know the doctors plight in this tough times how we feel when we go in these dangerous situations in this environment you know expose ourselves to infections come back home and we are always in that kind of you know uh, sort of dare hote hain andar se ki are we going to pass it to our families we are coming back home every day exposing you know exposing them also and how beautifully it has depicted so i really want to know ek to ye painting karne ka time aapko kaise milta hai in your busy schedule aur ye kahan se aata hai itna you know the emotional outflow your paintings can put people through it comes across beautifully टाइम तो मैं टीवी नहीं देखती हूँ आई थिंक शायद इसलिए टाइम मिल जाता है और थोड़ा रात को जब आई थिंक माई सन गोज टू स्लीप एंड दैट इज माई टाइम तो देन आई डोंट डू एनी थिंग आपको भी मैंने कई बार ऐसे बोल दिया होगा कि मैं रात को फोन नहीं करती हूँ किसी को एवरी वन एक्सप्रेस देर इमोशन इन सम वे और दी अदर सम पीपल राइट सम पीपल write and keep it to themselves yeah. and uh, i uh, figured out a way to paint and i think a picture speaks a thousand words and mujhe acha lagta hai and painting bhi mujhe wo paint karna acha lagta hai jo mere dil se aata hai matlab it has to come from my heart otherwise it doesn't come out well so yeah. i i want to paint but unless wo pen hilta nahi hai jab tak wo andar se nahi aata hai so <laughs> so uh, whatever i'm feeling at that point of time that comes out in the painting and uh, sometimes i paint um, like day after day sometimes i don't paint for months so it is completely a state of mind and i i think we all have felt very deeply in these last 6 months about what we have gone through i know that the pandemic has affected everyone it has affected the general population also but what the doctors have been doing has been more of a thankless job uh, it's it's a fact <laughs> there is no टू वेज अबाउट इट एंड मतलब ये कभी तो हमें कहना ही पड़ेगा सो एंड इट इज वी आर एट रिस्क हम चाहे कितना भी प्रिकॉशंस ले लें वी आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी एट रिस्क आई हैव सीन सो मेनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हु बिकम पॉजिटिव एंड हु हैड अ वेरी सीरियस कोर्स ऑफ द डिजीज उनकी फैमिली मेम्बर्स ऑल आर फैमिली मेम्बर्स आर एट एट रिस्क हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एवर आप घर आके चेंज कर लो या यू टेक अ शावर और वट एवर बट your kids I, i mean if i tell my son not to hug me for 6 months is it possible it's not possible will your son uh, listen to you it's not going to be possible so ultimately we have to take that risk into our stride and move forward right we are living with it so i think these things ultimately somewhere there has to be a release and I'll, this is the least i can do basically so no yes i know with the, the i think in last whole decade if the most challenging time of doctors in medical fraternity yes. i think this was these last few months and they're still on and i agree with yes. you every day when i go back from my work to home yes. i am so reluctant to even hug my son that am yes. i you know passing yes or aap to dono doctors hain aap ke yes. husband bhi hai aur aap bhi hai to uh, aap ke liye to double risk hai double so at least risk. in my case we are just uh, one of us so still so yeah on that note i really want you know today since i am talking to you know this brilliant surgeon author <laughs> a painter an artist who has so much you know who feels so much and 
and you know it's a blessing that you can express so much in your paintings and i want our audience you know i let me utilize today this moment this chance to convey what a doctor goes through especially if you are a woman because inside the emotional uh, you know turmoil which goes around that where is my priority do i go and heal my patient first or shall i look at my child first shall i attend if even if it is a you know a doctor from any other stream shall i take care of somebody's else child or parent or mother or shall i risk my own family so on that note i definitely want audience to please you know listen to us even you know hear us out that we are human beings so here is the painting series by dr aparna which has so well portrayed what a doctor goes through yeah so that was a small you know glimpse of the emotions of a doctor a surgeon in these tough times i hope somewhere you know somebody is listening hearing out watching this that doctors do suffer inside none of the doctors none of the surgeons will ever initiate a process or a surgery or a medical plan for anybody with an intention which is not correct so i hope you know our people have a little empathy for these you know fighters who are fighting for you today yes so uh, this was about you know your journey and i'm so happy we could you know catch small small glimpses of your journey as an author as an artist as a surgeon now you know i really want today to to utilize this opportunity that since our audience is here and they can ask you know the real questions related to obesity related to this branch so my first question in general नो एक तो है कि ओबेसिटी कि एक्चुअली वो बीमारी जो है कि वो मोटापा एक बीमारी बन गया है वो और एक है कि यू नो आई एम नॉट ओबीज आई एम जस्ट प्लम एंड आई हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स बोथ एक्सट्रीम ऑफ पेशेंट्स दे आर पेशेंट्स हु आर लिटरली ओबीज एंड दे आर इन अ सॉर्ट ऑफ डिनायल कि नहीं हमारे तो घर में सब ऐसे ही शुरू से ही भी या तो मेरी बेटी ऐसे ही थी इट्स ओके कि हम कुछ नहीं बोलते और एक एक्सट्रीम व्हिच इज नॉट सो ओबीज बट दे आर सो ओवर कॉन्शियस ऑफ वेट so i want you to highlight today you know what is that fine line where a person should get conscious ki you no know, this is the scale jiske baad i need help or i should ask for help right so isko bahut hi formal language mein agar bole hum log ki uh, obesity is a i think there's a little bit of echo in my voice one second uh, obesity is becomes of concern when uh there is so much accumulation of body fat that it starts affecting a person's health okay to ye thodi si vague uh, definition ho jati hai kyunki ek uh, normal insaan ko samajh mein nahi aata hai ki abhi uh, health ka bhi effect hone lagti hai to isko hum log simple way mein define karte hain weight ke hisab se ya fir body mass index ke hisab se so body mass index is very easy to calculate इंटरनेट पे भी बहुत सारे फॉर्मूलाज हैं जिससे आप कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं यू ओनली नीड योर हाइट एंड वेट सो हाइट आपकी सेंटीमीटर्स में अगर आपको पता है आप टेप से मेजर कर सकते हैं एंड यू नीड योर वेट इन किलोग्राम्स सो बॉडी मास इंडेक्स अगर 18.5 से 23.5 तक है तो आप नॉर्मल कैटेगरी में ओके ट्वेंटी थ्री से ट्वेंटी तक अगर है दैट इज ओवर ओके सो ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी सेवन 27.5 to 32.5 comes as grade 1 obesity okay okay grade 2 will be 32.5 to 37.5 anything above 37.5 bmi is grade 3 obesity abhi isme aur bhi cheeze ho jati hai ki aapko saath mein diabetes hai blood pressure hai cholesterol hai heart disease hai pcod hai joint pains hai back problems hai gout hai हजार तरीके की प्रॉब्लम्स हो सकती हैं सो देन द सवियरिटी ऑफ द डिजीज विल इंक्रीज इन दैट ग्रेड आल्सो सो देन ऑब्वियसली आई मीन यू नीड टू विजिट अ डॉक्टर बट जहां पे भी 
ओवरवेट तक ठीक है पर जैसे ही आप ग्रेड वन ओबिसिटी में पहुंच जाते हैं आपका बी एम आई ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव के ऊपर पहुंच जाता है आई थिंक इट्स टाइम टू सी अ वेट लॉस स्पेशलिस्ट इट्स टाइम टू स्टॉप लुकिंग एट इंटरनेट डाइट्स एंड लुकिंग एट गूगल फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन यू मस्ट विजिट अ क्वालिफाइड डायटिशियन टू स्टार्ट विद एटलीस्ट आप वहां से तो शुरू करिए या फिर एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट के पास जाइए या बेरियाटिक सर्जरी टीम के पास जाइए जो कि आपको एक सही एडवाइस दे सकते हैं कि आपको क्या करना चाहिए उस स्टेप पे सो दैट इज हाउ वी बिगिन एंड द राइट काइंड ऑफ एडवाइस नीड्स टू बी गिवन एट दैट पॉइंट राइट सो आई अग्री विद योर यू नो एक स्पेशलिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव की ये जो कैटेगरी है माइल्ड मॉडरेट सिवियर यू कैन चेक थ्रू योर बी एम आई आपका हाइट वेट आप इंटरनेट पे ढूंढो बी एम आई मेटाबोलिक बी एम आई वेरी सिंपल सॉफ्टवेयर इट इमीजिएटली बट द थिंग इज लोगों के दिल में ये डर हो जाता है कि अभी मैं अगर एक्चुअली सर्जन के पास जाऊँ तो फर्स्ट थिंग दे आर गोइंग टॉक टू मीज अबाउट सर्जन देर इज सो मच ऑफ फेयर की यू नो वो डॉक्टर के पास जाओ वो पहले तो इतने सारे टेस्ट लिखेंगे और उसके बाद फिर बोलेंगे आपको सर्जरी करना है एंड आई डोंट वांट आई विल ट्राई ऑन माय ओन एंड आई वांट टू हाईलाइट कि यही एक विंडो है जहां पे मे बी पीपल गो रॉन्ग कि वो खुद ट्राई नॉट करेक्ट दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट सी ट्राई करना ही चाहिए आपको एवरीवन शुड ट्राई ओके बट ट्राई करने की एक हर एक ट्रीटमेंट की जैसे अगर हम मान लीजिए कैंसर की बात करते हैं तो आप आप भी कैंसर के पेशेंट्स देखते हो राइट सो एक एक ट्रीटमेंट मोडालिटीज जो होती है दैट अगेन डिपेंड्स ऑन द ग्रेड ऑफ सिवियरिटी ऑफ द डिजीज राइट सो अगर आप ग्रेड बिनाइन कैंसर को मलेग्न कैंसर की तरह ट्रीट नहीं कर सकते हैं और मलेग्न कैंसर को आप बिनाइन कैंसर की तरह ट्रीट नहीं कर सकते हैं करेक्ट सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट समबडी हु इज से सेवेंटी फाइव के जीज उसको तो मैं ये नहीं कहूँगी कि आप बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी कर लीजिए उसको तो हम यही कहेंगे कि आप डाइट और एक्सरसाइज करिए और फिर हम देखते हैं आप तीन महीने ट्राई करिए छह महीने ट्राई करिए वी विल हेल्प यू आउट विद दैट एंड वी विल यूजुअली रेफर देम टू अ डायटिशियन एंड आइडियली अगर आप पहले तो ऑब्वियसली हर कोई हमारे पास जब आता है तो सब ट्राई करके ही आते हैं सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू डू अ सुपरवाइज डाइट बाई अ मेडिकली क्वालिफाइड डायटिशियन ओके सो डायटिशियन की एडवाइस के साथ आप पहले एक वेट लॉस प्रोग्राम ज्वाइन करिए और फिर आप उसको करिए सेकेंड कैटेगरी है जो पेशेंट 120 किलोस के हैं या 140 किलोस के हैं अगर yes. मैं उनको कहूँगी कि आप सिर्फ डाइट और एक्सरसाइज ही करिए तो वो चीज़ तो वो ऑलरेडी चार बार कर चुके हैं right. उसमें मैं दोबारा से वही बोल के तो दैट विल बी इन इफेक्टिव थेरेपी फॉर देम राइट दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दैट इवन इफ दे लूज टेन किलोज वन से वन पे वो आ भी गए तो इट्स mm-hmm. उससे ना उनको कोई फायदा होगा एंड द मोमेंट इज नॉट दैट डाइट दे वॉन्ट टू री बाउंड बैक टू वन फोर्टी so yes. we have to see what grade of severity the disease is in and accordingly advise therapy so aisa zaruri nahi hai ki hum doctor ke paas jayenge aur aapko turant hum hmm. surgery karne ke liye aisa right. nahi hai right right fine so i agree that before any patient uh, who is dealing with weight when weight loss yes. ki straight away yes. koi doctor unhe bole ki surgery zarurat pad sakta hai usse pehle there is a lot of things which can be done in a proper way yes Yes, and I guess you have an entire support system and an entire team yes. with you yes. who really yes. takes care very well of that. So yes. I think uh, it's important for our audience to know that it is not yes. that you vaguely go to you know different spots, keep changing the nutritionist, dietitian because it yes. takes some time for effect to come. So, so Doctor Parna, yes. yes, please elaborate Sorry, on the support no, system. Sir. We have, we have uh, dietitians on the team, and uh, uh, many of see we get patients who. फॉर वेट लॉस फ्रॉम ऑल स्ट्रेटा राइट तो किसी का कम भी होता है किसी का ज्यादा भी होता है किसी को सर्जरी करने का मेंटल प्रेपरेशन नहीं होता है तो हम डायट सपोर्ट भी बहुत स्ट्रॉन्गली प्रोवाइड करते हैं सो एंड देन वंस दे आर मेंटली प्रिपेयर देन ओनली वी विल टेल देम कि ठीक है अब हम सर्जरी करते हैं क्योंकि सर्जरी ऐसी चीज नहीं है कि जिसको बिना मेंटल प्रेपरेशन के आप कर सकते हैं Right. So, sorry, you were saying something. No, it's fine. So, I just wanted to know, ki uh, is there a time frame in which all these things are tried? Yeah, for some cut off hai weight ka ki you know hundred kg ke upper hai, so surgery is a better option. And uske niche hai, so we still go ahead and try some kind of conservative means. So, again, weight ka cut off nahi hai. BMI ka hi cut off hai. So, okay. uh, jo guidelines hai, obesity surgery, obesity and metabolic surgery society of India ki. अकॉर्डिंग टू दो गाइडलाइंस आप अगर आपका बी एम आई थर्टी फाइव के ऊपर है 
तो आप सर्जरी के लिए एलिजिबल है ओके अभी इसमें भी जैसे मान लीजिए पेशेंट को कोमोबिलिटीज है जैसे कि डायबिटीज हो गया हाइपरटेंशन हो गया हार्ट डिजीज हो गई ये सारी चीजें हैं तो हम लोग इसको फिर पेशेंट को बोलते हैं कि जल्दी करिए क्योंकि या वेट और भी ज्यादा है मान लीजिए बी एम आई फिफ्टी है सिक्सटी है तो देन वी आस्ट दम टू नॉट डीले ओके जितना बी एम आई कम है मान लीजिए थर्टी फाइव है थर्टी सिक्स है देन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू वेट फॉर सम टाइम देन इट्स ओके एंड दे वॉन्ट टू टेक अ चांस टू यू नो ट्राई एंड गेट दे वेट डाउन बाई कंजर्वेटिव मेजर्स वी गिव दम टाइम एंड विद अ कैबियड कि आपका बी एम आई बढ़ना नहीं चाहिए ओके आप यू टेक योर टाइम you um, try your stuff for maybe six months or even a year or so, but make sure that you are doing something. ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि आप टाइम भी ले रहे हो और कुछ कर भी नहीं रहे हो और आपका वेट भी बढ़ता जा रहा है सो इफ योर वेट इज शोइंग एन इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट इट डाउन देन आई थिंक सिक्स मंथ्स टू अयर इज इनफ टाइम टू गेज दैट आप नहीं कर पाओगे देन इट्स बेटर टू Take an effective therapy in the form of bariatric surgery. This is for patients above thirty-five BMI. Mm-hmm. There is another category who are thirty-two point five and above with diabetes, especially okay. matlab, uh, with type two diabetes. So then again, we recommend surgery uh, for okay. mainly for the treatment of diabetes in them, control of diabetes. ओके और डॉक्टर अपर्णा ये तो बात हुई कि यू नो जिनका बीएमआई बहुत ही ग्रॉसली हाई है और हमें दिख भी रहा है कि यू नो विद अपेयरेंस विद काइंड ऑफ सिम्टम्स दे आर कमिंग कि हाँ ओबेसिटी रिलेटेड बहुत सारी चीजें हो रही हैं एक ग्रुप है जो मेरे पास बहुत आता है पेशेंट्स का पीसीओएस पेशेंट्स नाउ दे आर यंग दे आर हार्डली यू नो स्टार्टिंग द अर्ली स्टेज कैन बी फ्रॉम सेवेंटीन एटीन एंड इट कैन बी यू नो इन अर्ली ट्वेंटीज ट्वेंटी यंग अनमेरिड गर्ल्स एंड यू नो आर दे रियली स्ट्रगल and one thing yes. i feel that today's generation when they are ambitious and we want them yes. to be ambitious to achieve yes. their dreams and at the yes. same time they struggle with lifestyle uh, you know uh, the the sleep habits which is adding basically yes. a lot to the psychological yes. effects adding to the eating disorders and all but then thing is how safe is it to recommend yes. when we see the weight is like touching 100 and so, the girl is struggling to lose weight so where yes. the surgery coming Yeah. So I think being a gynecologist, uh, you also understand that PCOS and obesity forms a vicious cycle. Yes, and yeah. uh, once a person has PCOS, then it becomes very difficult to lose weight. And if they are not able to lose weight, then PCOS becomes more and more severe. So ये एक vicious cycle जो बन जाती है इसको तोड़ने का एक ही तरीका है, which is weight loss. और ये weight loss conservatively जब एक बार वजन hundred तक पहुंच जाता है, तो इसको तोड़ना बहुत मुश्किल है क्योंकि फिर होता क्या है कि बच्चे को या दैट गर्ल को लोग ब्लेम करते रहते हैं कि आप कर नहीं रहे हो आप आप नहीं एफर्ट कर रहे हो आप लेजी हो ये हो वो हो सो देर इज अट ऑफ इन सेंसिटिविटी विच इज देयर फॉर पेशेंट्स हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम पी सी ओ एस एंड ओबेसिटी बट पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट इज द डिजीज प्रोसेस सो ऐसे पेशेंट्स में सी uh, सर्जरी की जो गाइडलाइंस हैं सिक्सटीन एंड अबाव वी कैन रिकमेंड सर्जरी uh if they qualify for the bmi criteria and they have these comorbidities and they do beautifully well so uh we do a lot of uh, these uh, patients who are in this uh, range of 19 20 years and okay. in fact is we hum log uh, uh, single incision surgery karte hain so through the navel we can mm-hmm. do the entire surgery so cosmetically bhi matlab koi scar nahi aata hai and confidentiality can also be maintained it's completely yes. scarless and they do really well so they are able to lose weight pcos results and uh, uh, the other thing is future prospective so pcos as you know better than me that in future when these girl, girls get married then yeah. with fertility there are major issues right right right, fertility right as well as pregnancy so at 100 kg if they conceive then they go to 115 and yes. 120 yes. kg and it becomes the pregnancies are so difficult right. uh, at that point तो उस सब में बहुत मुश्किल होती है एंड ऑल दीज रिस्क फैक्टर्स एक्चुअली आर रिड्यूस्ड आफ्टर वेट लॉस एंड वेट लॉस हैज टू बी अचीव एंड एट 100 और 110 केजीज आई थिंक बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी से ज्यादा इफेक्टिव और कोई ऑप्शन नहीं होता है सो आर मेन क्राइटेरिया इज कि बोन ग्रोथ अचीव हो जानी चाहिए एंड फीमेल्स में बोन ग्रोथ इज आई मीन पोस्ट प्यूबर्टी बाय 16 17 तो हो ही जाता है तो इट्स नॉट रियली अ प्रॉब्लम In fact, even earlier than that. 
So right, fine. So audience, if you are listening, if there is anyone who has PCOS dealing and struggling with weight issues with PCOS and has tried enough with all your diets plans, you know, shifting from nutritionist to nutritionist, tried all kind of fat diets, and you still feel it's not budging. And it is not just the fertility; it's the complete health hazard, including you know your insulin resistance, diabetes, the way your weight puts you know the body image problems and everything. So that's the time when you please, or uh, you can take your chance here to put your questions and take a consult, meet the specialist, so that you get the right guidance. That are you a candidate for surgery? Instead of just sitting at home and fearing it, ki ye kyun surgery karna hai? It is for the benefit. So that's one thing. I guess you have your website, which I have put on display, www.bestbariatricsurgery.org. Uh, you, our audience, can make use to explore this website. Is it spelled correctly? You can let me know. It's uh, surgeon.org. Okay, fine. I'll correct that. So I'll, I'll again put that. Yeah, no problem. Bestsurgeon.org. Fine. So yeah. this is uh, how you know we decide. कि यू नो किस पेशेंट को जरूरत पड़ती है अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू नो पी सी ओ एस डॉक्टर अपर्णा आई हैव बट सम काइंड ऑफ यू नो पेशेंट जिनको स्नोरिंग बहुत है यू नो दे हैव दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ स्लीप एपनिया एंड दे डोंट रियलाइज इट एक्चुअली मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट्स द स्पाउस यू नो जो बातों बातों में मेरे पास आता है इट सो कॉमनली इन पेरी मेनो पॉजिटिव वुमेन Yes. who have been obese for quite some time itne saalo se shuru se hi main aise hi hu main to shuru se aise hi hu pregnancy yes. mein bad gaya tha wazan fir kam hi nahi hua ab hota nahi hai ab to age ho rahi hai you know this kind of things yes. and then uh, when i'm talking of menopausal symptoms suddenly the husband says you know are kitna snore karti hai raat mein and suddenly you know my you know the red flag is there i, I my mind is again thinking is this this the sleep apnea component and and yes. just tell me you know a little bit symptoms which are more there than visible yes. obesity yeah yes yes so uh, sleep apnea is definitely a very very significant uh, side effect of uh, obesity and isme hota kya hai ki jo ek to fat jo yahan pe jama hota hai so in mm. the this part uh, around the neck so when they sleep it kind of chokes in the throat so uh, there is um, एयरवे चोकिंग हो जाती है एंड दैट इज वाई दिसनोरिंग थिंग सेकेंड जो होता है एक रिस्ट्रिक्टिव इफेक्ट होता है लंग्स स्पेस के ऊपर क्योंकि जो चेस्ट कैविटी होती है उसके अराउंड भी बहुत फैट जमा हो जाता है एंड अब डोमिनल कैविटी में भी बहुत फैट होता है तो दैट पुशेज द चेस्ट कैविटी अपवर्ड्स सो वट है कि जब जब ब्रीद इन करते हैं तो लंग्स एक्सपेंड नहीं हो पाती है एंड ब्रीद आउट करने का जो फंक्शन होता है वो भी पूरी तरह से ऑप्टिमल नहीं होता है सो दे आर ब्रीदिंग इन लेस ऑक्सीजन एंड ब्रीदिंग आउट लेस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो रिटेनिंग मोर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड टेकिंग इन मस्ट लेस ऑक्सीजन सो परमानेंटली एक हाइपोक्सिक स्टेट होती है और एक हाइपर कैपनिक स्टेट होती है सो दैट लीड्स टू दीज सिम्टम्स स्नोरिंग इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑब्वियस सिम्टम्स ऑफ दिस जो कि रिलेटिव ऑब्वियसली बताते हैं बिकॉज सबसे ज्यादा तकलीफ उन्हीं को होती है एंड लेटर ऑन डे टाइम स्लीपीनेस सो हमारे साथ तो ऐसा होता है कि पेशेंट आते हैं कंसल्टेशन में भी कंसल्टिंग गो टू स्लीप सो येस येस बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी सिवियर स्लीप एपनिया सो बिकॉज दे हैव सच हाई सी ओ टू लेवल्स दे गो टू स्लीप वाइल वी आर टॉकिंग टू दैम एंड दैट इज क्लासिकल ऑफ स्लीप एपनिया एंड पोस्ट बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी द मोमेंट दे हैव लॉस फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी के जीज इट जस्ट कोज अवे मैजिकली सो प्री सर्जरी फिर हम इनको सी पैप 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 पे रखते हैं सो दैट यू नो वी आर एबल टू फोर्स लंग एक्सपेंशन विद दैट एंड दैट इज वॉट हैपन्स अदर चीज़ें जो होती हैं एक मतलब ये तो लंग के ऊपर इफेक्ट हो गया सेकेंड इज लिवर डिजीज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अगेन जो दिखती नहीं है बट फैटी लिवर इज समथिंग जो कि हम बहुत ही इट्स अ वेरी वेरी लाइक लोग इग्नोर कर देते हैं सोनोग्राफी करते हैं फैटी लिवर आया कुछ नहीं है यू नो सो बट अगेन इट इज वेरी को रिलेटेड विद ओबिसिटी एंड फैटी लिवर विल अल्टीमेटली प्रोग्रेस टू समथिंग कॉल्ड इज नॉन अल्कोहलिक स्टेट ऑफ हेपेटाइटिस विच विल अल्टीमेटली लीड टू सरोसिस ऑफ लिवर एंड नाउ इट इज वी सींग दैट सरोसिस ऑफ लिवर सेकेंडरी टू ओबिसिटी इज बिकम एक्सट्रीमली कॉमन एंड ट्रांसप्लांट लिवर ट्रांसप्लांट की जो केसेज हैं वो ओबेसिटी के बाद काफी ज्यादा हो गए हैं मतलब केसेज ऑफ एल्कोहलिज्म एक्चुअली सो दैट इज दिटी ऑफ केसेज 
गाउट एंड जॉइंट पेन्स सो चलना फिर ना मतलब मोबिलिटी बिकम्स अग इशू स्पेशली पोस्ट मेनोपॉजल so uh, post menopausal women have a lot of mobility issues as the age advances they have a lot of knee issues and uh, uh, they start facing a lot of problems with that and um, in women especially i think pcos is one thing uh, early age mein they have a lot of uh, you know uh, menstrual irregularities uh, yeah. pregnancy related issues so they get gestational diabetes they get preeclampsia mm-hmm. uh they have miscarriages then chances of cesarean infections are so high and the worst part is that they have a very high chance of having an obese baby who will okay. you know, most likely turn diabetic very early in life so that is another risk which they carry uh, very highly and um cancers again so cancers in women are associated with obesity especially your endometrial cancer and breast cancer तो ये बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है जो स्पेसिफिकली हेल्थ से रिलेटेड है और होता क्या है कि बिकॉज ऑफ बॉडी इमेज इशूज दे आर वेरी हेजिटेंट टू गो टू यू नो इवन गेट अ मेमोग्राफी डन दे डोंट गो टू द मेमोग्राफी सेंटर्स सो एंड दे आर बिग ब्रेस्टेड सो द लम्स आर मिस्ड आउट एंड यूजली दे आर डिटेक्टेड एट अ वेरी लेटर स्टेज सो द प्रोग्नोस इज यूजली मच वर्स कम्पेयर टू नॉर्मल वेमेन सो दिंग Yeah, so uh, people who are listening, our audience, please take this information today. That जब हम बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी की बात करते हैं, तो हम सिर्फ किसी की इमेज या अपेयरेंस ठीक करने के लिए बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी नहीं रिकमेंड कर रहे. There are so many other things which are hidden happening to your own body, just like Dr. Aparna said. Fatty liver. In fact, आज के डेट में 90 percent sonographies, routine abdomen, it shows fatty liver. To everyone, anyone who is going for a sonography, there are high chances that there will be fatty liver. and you will not know ki visible obesity se zyada shayad internally us fat ne aapko damage kiya hai so please ladies women or uh, men whosoever is watching understand it's about your liver it's about your lungs it's about the oxygen supply to your brain it's about overall functioning and not just the appearance so if you have any questions please keep posting i'm seeing a lot of comments lot of appreciation lot of people have joined us and yes uh, dr aparna is here to answer all your queries uh, on that note i really want to ask you one more questions uh itni badi surgery what are people uh, when they go you know uh, what are they expecting expecting means i have seen people who expect sudden drastic results means they really feel at surgery hoga kal se i'll be you know in a certain way i'll be like that and then the appearance that appearance image that the demand of the appearance is so high that everything is focused there rather than actually looking it as a gradual process so yes. you can highlight what's the recovery how's the progression and what is the yes. surgery exactly yes so bariatric surgery is first of all it's it's not a magic wand <laughs> number 1 it's just a tool to lead to weight loss or weight loss uh, slowly hota hai dheere dheere hota hai ye ek uh, ek saal se dheer saal ka process hai koi ek din ka process nahi hai it is not a cosmetic procedure it is a metabolic procedure in fact ab ye insurance mein bhi cover hone laga hai from this month onwards from october 2020 it has okay. been it has uh, started being covered by all insurance companies as a non cosmetic uh, procedure gi procedure and um, uh, it's done through laparoscopy and what we do is basically a gastrointestinal surgery just just make ki hum stomach ka size chota karte hain there are various kinds of surgeries actually so there are some in which we only reduce the size of the stomach by stomach i mean the internal stomach the pouch of the stomach not the abdomen and there are some in which uh, we would rearrange the small intestine and attach it to the small pouch of the stomach so that's called as a gastric bypass there are many kinds of um, variations of these bypasses and uh, all that so uh, maybe that would be for a later date but these are the basic things now uh, what the surgery does is that there are many mechanisms by which it leads to weight loss so ek to aapka khana kam hota hai shuru mein second thing is ki iske baad aapko bhook nahi lagti hai क्यों क्योंकि ये आपके हंगर हार्मोन का लेवल बहुत कम कर देता है तो हार्मोनल जो चेंजेस होते हैं उसमें से एक बहुत बड़ा इफेक्ट होता है कि हंगर हार्मोन लेवल जो होता है वो बहुत कम होता है तो यू आर नॉट हंगरी एट ऑल यू डोंट फील लाइक ईटिंग एंड दैट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन डाइटिंग एंड बेरियाटिक सर्जरी कि आप इसमें कम खा रहे हो लेकिन आप कंफर्टेबल रहते हो 
सेकेंड थिंग इज की आपका पेट बहुत जल्दी भर जाता है सो डायटी सेट्स इन वेरी अर्ली एंड यू फील फुल वेरी अर्ली सो वी ऑलवेज ईट टू फील फुल राइट एंड यू फील फुल इवन आफ्टर ईटिंग हाफ अ रोटी सो यू डोंट फील लाइटिंग आफ्टर दैट ओके third thing which is most important is that it leads to many hormonal changes in the body there are many many gi hormones which completely change because the whole gi system i mean we've changed the whole route right so there are many hormones just ka timing change ho jata hai and many things happen metabolic rate change hota hai body ka set point change ho jata hai um jo gut ke uh, bacteria hai wo change ho jate hain and uh, Uh, so these are the things uh, which happen after this thing and in the second phase what happens is that the body becomes insulin sensitive so insulin resistance also plays a big role in weight loss the more insulin resistant you become the more difficult it gets to lose weight and the more insulin sensitive you become the easier it starts becoming to lose weight so as you become more and more insulin sensitive more you keep losing weight so baad mein aapka khana khana badh jata hai lekin aap fir bhi weight loss hota rehta hai so this is about this thing and maan lijiye ki aapka weight 120 hai ideal body weight 60 70 kilos hai so we would expect you to lose 70% of your excess body weight so agar aapka excess weight 50 kilo hai to surgery aapko 35 to 38 kg ka weight loss degi aapko usse zyada chahiye to aapko effort put in karna hai waise bhi effort put in karna hai to maintain your weight सो सब लोगों को ऐसा लगता है कि सर्जरी हो गई अब मुझे कुछ करने की जरूरत नहीं है तो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट बिकॉज इट इज अ लाइफ स्टाइल डिजीज यू हैव टू कीप कंटिन्यूइंग योर एक्सरसाइज एंड यू नो लाइक डाइट मॉडिफिकेशन वो हमें कंटिन्यू रखना होता है सो इट्स नॉट लाइक यू डू बेरियाटिक सर्जरी इन दैट्स दी एंड ऑफ इट सो फॉलो अप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू दैट फॉर लाइफ लाइफलॉन्गिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसीफिशियंसी
it takes years of practice to get that expertise to get that level of super speciality ki agar ek bariatric surgeon ne aapke liye surgery kiya hai to wo aapko apne yahan se nahi jaane dega because usko uska result aapko prove karna hai dikhana hai and it's a mutual collaboration of a parent uh, sorry a patient and a doctor yes. the surgeon that mutual collaboration to get the continuous maintenance of weight you know it's not a one time do because yes i have come across cases who who suddenly have the transformation and we see wow you know it ye kya hua ekdam suddenly everything is gone and in 6 months then we see them again gradually you know going back yes. to the previous yes. so i yes. agree so, and i want you to highlight ye maintenance ye jo yahan support system chahiye so see weight weight regain jo hai na again uh, we need to understand that this is a chronic progressive disease this is like heart disease or diabetes सो so, hmm. आपने देखा होता कि डायबिटीज के पेशेंट्स भी आ, सालों फॉलो अप करते हैं और इवेंचुअली जो उनकी दवाइयां हैं वो बढ़ती ही जाती हैं राइट right? हम कितनी भी दवाई देंगे ब्लड शुगर इवेंचुअली विल बीट द मेडिकेशन एंड इट विल बिकम अनकंट्रोल्ड बियॉन्ड अ पॉइंट सो वी हैव टू ट्रीट ओबेसिटी इन अ सिमिलर वे बीरियाट्रिक सर्जरी इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द थेरेपीज बट इवेंचुअली इट डिपेंड्स कि किसी की डिजीज बहुत सिवियर होती है किसी की कम सिवियर होती है सो सम पीपल मे एंड अप रीगेनिंग वेट अभी जो डायबिटिक पेशेंट रोज वॉकिंग करता है उसकी शुगर्स ज्यादा अच्छी कंट्रोल रहती हैं जो कुछ भी नहीं करते हैं कुछ डाइट फॉलो नहीं करते हैं उनकी शुगर ज्यादा अनकंट्रोल रहती है सो इज द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट योर ऑल्सो दैट इफ यू आर रियली गुड विद योर लाइट डाइट एंड लाइफ स्टाइल मॉडिफिकेशन यू आर अटेंडिंग ऑल द सपोर्ट ग्रुप मीटिंग्स एंड यू आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग यू नो योर आइडियल then you will regain very less weight and having said that you may still need some additional therapy some drug therapy off and on uh, some diet modifications off and on to wo aapko life long kuch na kuch lagega ki hum bariatric surgery karke obesity ko cure nahi kar rahe hain we are just doing a one time treatment to control obesity we are not curing obesity so that attitude has to change basically you know and um, uh we have to fight this disease life long so that is the thing and uh, and weight gain hota hai to aapko turant bariatric surgery team ke paas jana hai ye nahi ki bas ho raha hai to theek hai chhod do usko so right. that's hi thank you so much for such a nice information yeah. regarding the surgery the techniques how we do it how we prepare the patient and how you know in future they need a continuous follow up and support ek aur sawal mere samne aaya bhi hai our viewer has yes. sent it i'll be putting it across to you right now childhood obesity बचपने से जो बच्चे प्लम्पी दिखते हैं और शुरू में हमें कितने क्यूट लगते हैं ना अरे यू नो वो कुछ कुछ कर दिया जो आ रहा है गाल पकड़ रहा है एंड कितना प्यारा है एंड पेरेंट्स आल्सो फील सो ग्रेट बट आई थिंक आई एम श्योर नाउ अडेज पेरेंट्स आर रियली कॉशियस दे रियली सी दैट दैट ये जो क्यूटनेस दिख रही है दिस इज अ लिटल बिट बियॉन्ड देन वॉट जस्ट क्यूट सो एक तो चाइल्ड ओबेसिटी कैसे प्रिवेंट की जाए क्या प्रिकॉशंस पेरेंट्स ले सकते हैं या अगर कुछ विजिबली अब है और इन चिल्ड्रेन वी कैन डू बेरियाट्रिक्स but at least they are cautious what to do and how to get hold of it at a very early phase and the question here is uh, by sonal uh, thakur can you please guide us how to control our weight in daily routine for our kids too so please mm-hmm. highlight it so uh, i think childhood obesity should be taken extremely seriously uh, so this is a very very good question and i'm glad that she is asked this question so thank you sonal and um, because uh, ek to isme ek uh, jo iska reason hota hai wo genetic or hereditary hota hai uh, which is beyond our control okay to wo hum uh, mostly it can be hereditary but um, what we can do is to avoid any kind of sugar any kind of junk food today you know so hum hamare bachcho ko na hum bahut exposure bahut zyada hai so every week and we go out in fact even during the week we are ordering food from outside we are not letting them play there's too much pressure for studies and stuff like that so jo cheeze hamare control mein hai unko hamare control mein genes nahi hai right genetic is not in our control and i think uh, yeah. we must have discussed with shruti about that but yes. what is in our control is something which mm-hmm. and it has to the example has to be set by parents so i see this in my own uh, example ki main agar ko pee rahi ho ghar mein to my child will also ask for the same thing and i cannot tell him ki main pee rahi ho tum mat pee ho tumhare liye acha nahi hai right hmm. because if he sees me doing it he is going to do it so 
Uh, and plus, follow the pediatrician's advice. Nowadays, pediatricians are very strict about not giving sugar and salt in the first three years of uh, the child's life. You know, they, they say that um, I think it was 900 days, you should not be giving uh, 1,000 days, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. You should not be giving any sugar or uh, salt to the child. And that should be taken seriously. Do not fall into the trap of your mother-in-laws and mothers. We have to you But yes. our genetic makeup is different. Things have really changed in the last 30 years, and we have to take that into cognizance. Please do not expose your children to sugar, especially salt. To chalo, fir bhi, um, we can say, but sugar is really a killer. And push them a lot into physical activity. So, abhi, um, what is happening is everything is school may itna time spend karte hai, for tuitions mein jate hai, they'd hardly have any time to play. Free play is not there at all. So, physical activity has to be instilled and we have to let go a little bit of academic pressure from our children so that is very very basic but wo bhi hum log karte i think utna bhi karenge na to kafi farak padta hai and agar aapko lagta hai ki aapka bachcha fir bhi overweight hai to i think then you need a specialist consult and you must take the child to a qualified dietitian and take help from that so bachche hamare control mein rehte hain ultimately hum unko jo khilayenge wo wo hi khayenge right so or how much money you give only that they can spend they cannot do on their own. So we can control it and we should do it right in the beginning. I agree so much with you. And uh, I think you have a child. I have a child. We both yes. know what it really means. And yeah, yes. I think we are still uh, holding the fort on that, yes. <laughs> you know, space yes. that please parents, if you are listening here and if you are concerned about your child's weight, you have to take charge of it and you have to set the role example and you have to, you know, make sure key in their activities. Physical activity law, even if it is in COVID times. Yeah, it is difficult. We are all in the same boat, but I'm sure with this small talk, you may find your motivation back. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Aparna. This your precious time from all your surgical hectic schedules you have taken out for us. And we have a small surprise for you, which we, you know, we we reflect as a gratitude to you know all our speakers here. So before you go, I want to thank you, Dr. Sarita, for putting this together. I think you've done really an amazing job and you've put in so much hard work into this. I really appreciate what you've done. It's thank you so truly much. awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not going us? because uh, yeah, I have to yeah, ask you it? two last questions because yes. that's always after before we close. We I, I I always say this that I'm a little selfish. I always like to hear a little appreciation <laughs> in there because I want to be that I'll ask you after this. But first is we show you our gratitude. And this is not only me, this is our beautiful lady Suchitra from Delhi NCR from Gurgaon, who has written lines, you know, some beautiful lines for all our you know super specialists. So here you go, Suchitra from NCR Gurgaon. Acha Suno. तुमसे कुछ कहना था कहना यह था कि कैसे तुम इतनी कमाल हो तुम्हारी शक्ति ऊर्जा और हस्ती पूरी की पूरी बेमिसाल हो सुनो तुमसे कुछ कहना था कहना यह था कि कैसे तुम इतनी कमाल हो कहां से लाती हो यह जज्बा जिंदगी से भी ऊपर उठकर कुछ करने का तुम्हें देखकर ना जाने कितनों को हौसला मिलता है जीवन में आगे बढ़ने का जीवन दायनी विघ्न हरता शक्ति रूपा तुम ही तो हो एक जीवन में इतनी भूमिकाएं निभा रही हो तुम ही कहो शब्दों में कैसे तुम्हारी प्रशंसा हो अच्छा सुनो सचमुच तुमसे कहना था कि तुम बेहद कमाल हो थैंक यू uh, thank you, Dr. Aparna, and we are so happy. We can see, yeah, you know, a little guest here. Hi. So, yes. Say hi to you. Yes. Yeah. Great. So, yes, Dr. Aparna, she was Suchitra, who has written specially this poem for this event for our, you know, all superpowers, the nine super ladies. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we will not take any more time from you. I know he's missing you. I just want you know you to deliver one small message for all those women who are struggling with this body shaming, fat, body image problems, and you know they tend to lose hope every day. In this Navratri, I want you to evoke that inner power in them because you are there to help them. 
please go ahead so, so before i give them the message i would like to thank you and uh, i have already thanked you but i would really want to thank you <laughs> once again and uh, for them i would like to say that um neither are you your body alone and nor are you its image alone because um you are much more than your body and its image so please find yourself please find your talents please find your inner self because there's so much more to you than your body and your image and as far as uh, obesity is concerned treat it like a disease seek help for it and get treated don't worry about it but don't make it uh like a big issue in your life keep that separately that's not your life or it's a, 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 it's not a big problem so usko bahut zyada importance mat dijiye wo aapki puri zindagi bhi nahi hai aur na hi wo itni badi problem hai ki usko kuch bahut zyada hame importance deni chahiye so aap baaki cheezon pe focus kariye us cheez ke liye doctors hain wo usko handle karenge so don't worry about it that's all i have to say Thank you so much, Doctor Aparna. I am sure people are watching you, and for people's information, I am putting across Doctor Aparna's number. Those who want to consult her for her your obesity-related issues, please note down her number nine eight one nine five triple six one eight. And this is the website uh, www.bestbariatricsurgeon.org, in which you will find all the necessary details. Please feel free to connect either with us. We are there to connect with her. or you connect directly with her you can always get back to me or dr aparna with your questions so thank you very much dr aparna to spare your time be here we are so happy and glad to have you thank, thank you, you so much dr sarita and happy navratri to you too thank happy you. navratri to all everyone thank you so that was our guest of the day and again tomorrow day 7 of navratri i will be back with another super specialist someone who i could never believe that you know okay somebody can be doing that kind of work So yes, I'll be back tomorrow, same time with another specialist, another super. See ya till then. Yeah, bye. And here we go.